I suggest to Senator Dodd, if he misses my talk, maybe he can catch it on YouTube. Uh, who knows? <laughs> Um, no, I, I do appreciate uh, coming here because it's been an issue about auditing the Fed that I've worked on for a long time. I was uh, rather disappointed this morning to uh, open up uh, the Internet and read a Reuters News Service uh, uh, article. And uh, it, it starts off by saying that uh, Fed dodges bullet as House drops audit idea. And goes on to say that the Federal Reserve scored a political victory on Wednesday as House Democrats dropped Ron Paul's Fed audit provision. The U.S. Central Bank appears to be emerging largely unscathed by the regulatory reform effort. Of course, that's a uh, great disappointment to me, but my disappointment is irrelevant uh, to the issue because I think the American people are going to be disappointed. Because we uh, in the House, uh, who, the sponsors of 1207, which is audit the Fed bill, got 319 House members to support that. And that means there's a lot of Democrats that support it as well as uh, Republicans. Now, I'm not an individual that's very good at arm twisting and going around and getting co-sponsors. The co-sponsors came from the American people asking their members of Congress to support this bill. So there's a lot of grassroots support for the transparency of the Federal Reserve System. That's what this bill is all about. Generally speaking, though, uh, those who oppose the, audit, the auditing the Fed talk about this would violate the independence of the Fed. And I can understand their concern, but if they know and understand what 1207 uh, tries to do, they shouldn't be worried about that. I think when you hear the word independence of the Federal Reserve, it usually means secrecy of the Federal Reserve, and therefore the Congress has no responsibility uh, and or obligation to audit the Fed and to monitor the Fed and pr provide oversight of the Fed. And therefore, since uh, 1913, essentially the Fed has been uh, not uh, very well uh, audited or looked at, and uh, there's been very little uh, transparency. But the, the American people are very strongly in support of this type of legislation. Now, the other charge that is made is if we have an audit of the Fed, it would uh, destroy the monetary policy of the Federal Reserve to pursue monetary policy. And I don't believe that is true either. The provision in 1207 says that you can't even look at what the Open Market Committee does for six months. And uh, that's not like looking over the shoulder of the Fed, but it means that after they do certain things and bail out certain banks or make certain loans, the American people and the Congress have a right to know exactly uh, what they're doing. Uh, but, you know, the argument that I would support something that would turn uh, monetary policy, the decision making of what interest rates should be and what monetary policy should be, over to the uh, Banking Committee, uh, I mean, I'm just not for that, uh, whether it's the Senate Banking Committee or the House Banking Committee. And, and I think that's rather clear. But uh, I have to be honest about it. I'm not very pleased with the way the Fed does it either, and there should be another option that someday might be made available to us. But in, in the meantime, we're looking at uh, uh, advocating at least those co-sponsors of this bill that this committee considers seriously keeping that in. And I am hopeful that somebody will bring this amendment up and have a vote on this. But I think the will of the House should prevail. And uh, we should make this recommendation. When it went through the committee, it was a bipartisan vote. 43 members to 26 endorsed this. It was passed in the, on the House floor in the, in the full bill. And now, of course, it's going to conference. And uh, I, I think a strong case can be made uh, for our responsibility and for the support of this bill. And believe me, the American people are becoming more aware of the importance of the Federal Reserve and the significance of the Federal Reserve in what it does, not only in the bailouts, but in also in creating the problems that we have. So regardless of what happens, I am very, very confident 
that the issue of the Federal Reserve will, be not, will not be laid to rest. The people in this country and more and more people are becoming aware of the fact that the, that the Federal Reserve should not get a free ride, and that is what this is all about. Don't give the Fed a free ride. And to me, the very best legislation, the very best thing that we can do in, in, in legislation now is to insist that 1207 be part of this conference report and kept in the bill. And I thank the chairman.